Right, I'm just going to talk about a simple question here on electrochemical cells and to do with observations. Because a lot of people in questions will ask, they'll ask a question, what did you observe? And your person will write, what actually happened? When they've actually asked, what did you see? So I've got here in front of me, I've got two containers. In the one container, I've got a copper sulfate solution and I've got a piece of magnesium. And in the other side, I've got a copper sulfate solution as well. And I've got a piece of silver. Now, in this particular question, they refer to the two containers A and B. And they ask what you observed in each of the containers. Right, now, if you all remember that copper sulfate is a blue solution, so we both have blue solutions and we both have silver metals, magnesium is silver metal and silver is a, a silver metal as well. It has that silvery sheen. And the question, as I said, is what do you observe over a period of time? Now, if you look here, most of you will realize that, that in one equation here, on, in one system here, we're going to get a reaction occurring and here we're going to get no, uh, none occurring. If you look at your electrode potential tables, you will see that magnesium is able to displace copper from copper sulfate. If you ever reacted metals with uh, solutions of salts, the more reactive metal always displaces the less, least reactive metal. So magnesium will displace copper from here. On the other side, silver is not as reactive as copper, so it won't displace copper. So this is the one we get a reaction in. Okay, you can also work out what's happening there from your electrode potential tables which you need to know carefully and if you remember with that you say we go from the right we go from the left right across and you go down and left across so you go from right to left and then down left to right and if you follow that C the top substance will be oxidized and the bottom substance will be reduced so in this case magnesium will be oxidized and copper will be reduced. So we're going to ask ourselves, what are we going to observe? So over a period of time, you should find that the copper sulfate is the blue solution. Magnesium will displace the copper. The copper will come out of solution and coat the magnesium. So we see two things occurring. We see firstly that there's a deposit of a brown solid, either on the magnesium itself or on the bottom of the container. And the second thing we see in this particular reaction is that the blue solution loses its color. Now it depends how long it's left. If we leave it for a long period of time, we're going to find that it's going to lose its color completely. So blue, so magnesium will displace the copper, copper will come out, the magnesium will go into solution and magnesium sulfate is a colorless solution. So over a period of time, the blue solution will turn colorless. Right, and as we said on the other side, if we look at the other side, the silver does not displace the copper. If you go to your electrode potential tables, you'll see that silver is down in the bottom. Silver is here, down in the bottom here. So if it's going to be oxidized, then copper must be reduced. But copper is up here. The copper ion is here. So it cannot take place. Remember the reaction goes like that. Oxidation down and then you go reduction there. Here because we cannot do that because we, the silver is there. We cannot go that way around. Okay, so there's no reaction there. So if I asked what did you observe in B, your answer would be that you observed nothing. No reaction occurred. And you can just mention if they ask you, why it didn't react, then you can say so. So you observe no reaction. So all you need to say, as I said, if they ask you in a question, what did you see? Or what did you observe? You just have to see, you just have to say what you saw or what you expected to see. You don't need to say why it occurred. Right now, obviously there you can work out your reactions. So if I go to the first container, I can work out the oxidation reactions, the reduction reactions. So we'll do that quickly. So the oxidation, Half reaction, 
Okay, we said that magnesium was oxidized, and that goes to Mg2+, plus, plus two electrons. And as you know, you're reading from right to left across your table. And then the reduction half reaction, so it's going to put the reduction half reaction. Half reaction is just quite simple. And we say the copper, the Cu2+, plus, gains the two electrons to form copper. Okay, so there's the, read, the re oxidation there, there's the reduction. And then to balance it out, we just cross out the electrons. And we, our final balanced ionic equation, Mg plus Cu2 plus goes to Mg2 plus plus Cu. And obviously there are lots of other questions associated with it. But I think the important thing about this is if they ask you what did you observe, please indicate what you saw or what you expected to see. Don't start explaining it. If they ask to explain it, then you go to your table and using your table explain what has happened. But otherwise, just observe, just give what you observe. Okay, nothing else, nothing more.